Well folks, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commando Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please hit that red and white button below. It helps the channel grow. Even a thumbs up or a comment below on the video would be fantastic. So it looks like Celtic are on the verge of signing their first player in the next window. It's going to be a free agent. Basically, personal terms have been agreed. Reports from Football Insider have said that we're going for a centre-back that plays for Fisay Kobe in the J-League. His name is Yuki Karabashi. 22 years of age, 6 foot, played 42 games for Fisay Kobe last year. Played in the Emperor's Cup, the J-League and the Asian Champions League. What this player has is different to what we currently have. Doesn't score much goals. Doesn't really score much goals. He's a proper, stays at the back, clears everything, not afraid to get stuck in. And that's the type of player we're looking for. You know, it's not all about getting the header on the ball. I understand. We, I said it last season that Starfield wasn't doing it a lot. And he scored a couple of goals this season. But that means that we have options there. If we're bringing this Korobashi guy in, what's the situation with Stephen Welch? Will Stephen Welch go on loan? Will we end up selling Stephen Welch? He's a couple of years left in his, new, in his contract as well. So I don't know what's going to happen with Stephen Welch. Maurice Jens, he's on loan from... The French League, I don't know what's going to happen with him as well. It's a tough situation, it really is a tough situation to see what's going to happen. But I'm looking forward to getting this guy in. He will be the fifth Japanese player on our roster. We'll obviously have Koyogo, Ryo Atate, Deizen Maeda, you know, Itaguchi, and then Korobashi as well. The story broke six days ago. Didn't really put much up about it, but it's starting to spark more. A couple of Celtic pages are back talking about it this morning. So I thought, come on, give us a bit of an insight into it. It's going to be a, he's a free agent, and yet again, and just tapping in to the Asian market. And I say there's going to be a good chance that he will probably meet up with Ange and Celtic representatives in the next week or so, since Celtic are down in Australia. He might take a trip down from Japan down to down with his representatives to get this deal over the line because he looks like a real good physical player. I did look at him last week, and I was like. Maybe the Scottish League's too much for him. And the more I looked at him, I was like, you know what, this is his best bits. I'm sure he has inconsistent times like every footballer does. But get him aboard. It means that we have more ammunition for the second half of the season because we have a lot of games coming up, as you are all aware of. We're going for the treble. We're going to win the Scottish League Cup. We're going to win the Scottish Cup. And we're also obviously going to extend that gap. That big gap. The top of the table as well, so we three games left against Rangers as well, and see what happens. So let me know what you think. Do you think it's a good idea getting another centre back in? And let me know in the comments what other position do we need to strengthen? Do we need another defensive midfielder? Do we need another striker? Because I've had a lot of people saying that we need another striker as well. They're not. They don't think that the likes of Yakimakis and Coelho is doing enough, even though they're getting goals. It just feels like we're missing something up there. And to be honest with you, I think we are missing something up there. Even though we can play Hakas Ivanovic in that position, we can play Maeda in that position, Abada can even play in that position as well, but these are not the preferred positions. So let me know. Speak to us all soon. And the t-shirt that I have here, it's a grand old team, Lisbon. This is from Track1 Graffiti on Instagram. Have a look at them. They do some cracking t-shirts. And I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.